Hey everyone! So today we are going to learn about mirror formula and lens formula because you know what? Both these formulas are, they look similar at least, right? And that's why today's session is all about decoding these formulas. So once you are done with light, reflection and refraction, what we need to master is the lens and mirror formulas. Today's session is about that. So very quickly, we are going to unravel all the uh, all the doubts with these two formulas, right? Come on, let's do it. Let's take a nice case. There are two girls, Rashmi and Shruti. They were doing some experiment. So let me tell you, there are some observations they have made. Let's see, first, for a pencil kept 10 centimeters away from the instrument, I would say, Rashmi made an observation that her instrument gives an upright image that appears to be 20 centimeters behind the instrument. Okay, important keywords here are an upright image that is 20 centimeters behind the instrument. All right, let's see. Shruti's instrument gives an upside down image. Okay, means inverted image on a piece of paper because you know what, see. In light, the most important thing is if you are able to decode or at least focus on the important keywords and make sense of them and you understand the question, the light chapter, at least with all the numericals, all the heavy numericals becomes really easy. So I'll tell you, every line here, like a piece of paper, 15 centimeter behind the instrument, it is giving you a clue. Don't worry. We'll talk about both these questions. We'll solve these questions. But first, let's have a very quick recap of what are mirror formulas and what are lens formulas? I would say what not what are. What is a mirror formula and what is a lens formula? Let's let's do it. Come on, very quickly. So, type of instrument. The question in front of you is when you have seen what are the observations made by Rashmi and Shruti, what is the type of instrument that they have been using? And I'm not saying it could be same, maybe different, but what is the type of instrument? That's something we need to guess. So, let's do it. But to do this, we need to understand or have a good crisp or, or good grasp of mirror and lens formula, right? So let's see. Mirror formula, nice, looks simple. 1 upon V plus 1 upon U equals 1 upon F, fine. What is V? V is the image distance from, from the pole of the mirror. U is the object distance from the pole of the mirror and F is the focal length, fine. Lens formula, similar looking. 1 upon V minus 1 upon U equals 1 upon F. The only difference is, you will notice, this plus and this minus. And you know what? This is one place where we usually tend to get confused. Mirror formula me, it was plus or minus. I'm not able to remember, oh, oh, it's plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus. These things happen. In a mirror formula, it's plus. In lens formula, it is minus, okay? So, and let me tell you how to clarify this thing. Mirror formula, all right? And a lens formula, okay? So we have said it is plus in mirror and minus in lens, fine. How to apply these formula, first of all, right? How to apply these formulas? So, you need to understand one very important thing, the sign convention. And it is another checkpoint for us because if we get confused in signs, means formulas are a different thing then. First of all, we need to clarify something else, the signs, right? So sign convention, let's have a very quick recall of the Cartesian sign conventions. Very simply, we all tend to remember like in Cartesian system, right was positive, left was negative, up was positive, down was negative. Similar thing, right? Plus x axis, minus x axis, plus y axis, minus y axis. This is how we can remember. But you know what? There is one more thing I want to tell you over here. Just take care of in which direction the incident light ray was going. Because if you measure in that direction, then this will be the sign convention. Sir, what are you saying? Let me clarify it. See, normally, whatever you take, any mirror or any lens, the incident light ray comes from the left, correct? So that's why if you are measuring in the direction of incident ray, it's positive. Similar over here, it's positive. If you are, if you are measuring opposite to the direction of incident ray, it becomes negative. That's why. If you go opposite, it becomes negative, correct? What if the light ray was coming from the right, like this. What if it was coming from the right? What will happen? It means on this side, it will be positive. On this side, it will be negative. Okay. Your at least sign convention, this will become negative, this will become positive. 
What about top and down? See, top and down is only taken care of by the principal axis, right? So, plus minus is fine, but in the direction of incident light, that is positive. Opposite is negative, right? So, that's one thing. But what about top and down? Top and down is actually from the principal axis. If, let's say your lens is there or your mirror is there, and this is the principal axis, so whatever is above the principal axis, it's positive. Whatever is below, that is negative. And that's the reason top comes out to be positive and negative. Now, answering the question which you have in mind right now is, it's okay if light ray was, let me show the light ray with to this one. If light ray was like this or light ray was like this, then what happens? What about up and down? What about positive negative? Uh, do they also reverse? No, they won't. Why? I told you. Principal axis will still remain same. No. So that's why top is positive, down is negative. So that's why still this holds for this particular array and plus and minus. It will hold for this particular array as well. So notice it. It's easy to understand. Just take your time and understand it, right? So that's why overall, what do we remember? Right is positive, left is negative. Top is positive and down is negative. Same thing, if the light ray is going in the opposite direction, this will become minus, this will become plus, rest will remain same. Fine, got it. Okay, okay, so for your clarification, let me just draw it to you. First one is with light ray like this. Second one is with light ray like this. Fine, all right, nice. Okay, so let's move forward then. So with this sign convention in mirrors, Let's have a very quick look. So this is a concave mirror, right? The reflective surface is inverse, it's a concave mirror. Simple, we know that. Okay, this is my object, this is my focus. Fine. Now, let's take care of the signs. Focus is to the left of the mirror, all right? And this is the incident ray, fine. So F will be negative because it is to the left. It is opposite to the direction of incident ray, fine. U will be negative, why? Again, it is to the left, fine. U, or oh sorry, V will be in a concave mirror. In a concave mirror, there are a number of possibilities. Either you get the image as real, inverted, and magnified or diminished is fine, but real and inverted, it's towards the left. But there is one case between pole and focus. If the object is kept, you get a virtual, erect, and magnified image on the right side. So F could be negative or positive. Fine. Okay, let's see. A convex mirror. In convex mirror, there is. it's very simple. F is to the right, correct? F is to the right, why? This is the incident ray. It is towards the incident ray, F, and that's why it is plus. U is minus because it is to the left. V is plus. An image is always virtual, erect, and diminished in a convex mirror. That's why it is to the right, and it will be positive. Fine, nice, okay. Let's see the lenses. A convex lens. Convex lens is thicker in the middle and thin at the corners. Fine. So, let's take care of the focal length. What about focal length? A convex mirror, parallel rays come and meet on the right side of the lens. Right? So that's why focus is positive for a convex lens. Fine. Because it is in the direction of incident ray you are measuring. You are measuring to the right. Right? That's why. Okay, F is positive, U is negative because it is to the left of the lens, fine. What about V? Again, as concave mirror, similar to it, we have convex lens. It also have two cases possible. Either a real inverted image or a virtual erect and magnified image, right? So all the real inverted images, they are formed on the right side of the lens. The virtual erect and magnified image, it is formed to the left of the lens, right? We have all done this. So v could be plus or minus fine let's take the concave lens here focal length is plus or minus a concave lens like parallel rays come and after refraction they get diverged but if you retrace them on the back side of the lens on the same side of the lens they appear to meet at a point so focus is to the left of the lens. You have to move opposite to the direction of incident ray to measure the focal length. It means it is going to be negative. Got it? It's going to be negative. Fine. U is to the left of the lens. It's negative. V can be. There's only one possibility. 
always v is going to be towards the left of the lens that's why it is negative fine nice now with all these understandings let's see what was the observation of rashmi see rashmi was saying for a pencil kept 10 cm away what is this it is the u right it is to the left so u will be minus 10 cm it gives an upright image that appears to be 20 cm behind the instrument upright means erect so there is an upright image means it is an erect image means it is a virtual image right and it is behind the instrument right when the virtual image is behind the instrument it must be a mirror then how do we know this think if it was a lens let's say it was a lens in a lens whenever you have a virtual erect image right whenever you have a virtual and erect image it is on the same side of the object notice do you remember in a convex lens also the case was between optical center and focus you get a magnified image on the same side same thing with the concave lens also so in concave and convex lens it is not possible to get a virtual erect image on the other side of the lens but in mirror it happens if it's a concave mirror focus if it's a concave mirror right and you put the object between pole and focus you will get an erect and magnified image on the other side right it's a mirror sir convex mirror or concave mirror i don't know i mean till now i don't know if it was a convex mirror then also you can get a virtual erect image on the other side but at least one thing is clear no between lens and mirror it's going to be a mirror that is sure but concave or convex, we don't know. We'll have to find it out. Okay, fine. So that's why it must be a mirror. With all these observations we have figured out, it is a mirror. Fine. Okay, find the focal length and the instrument. Let's do it now. So you have the value of u. It is minus 10. Okay, now v is going to be plus 20. Why? Because it is said it is on the other side behind the instrument. Right? That's fine. So you have u, you have v and it's a mirror means we'll apply mirror formula right we'll apply 1 upon u plus 1 upon v equals 1 upon f or 1 upon v plus 1 upon u equals 1 upon f same thing right so put the values v is plus 20 u is minus 10 and when you solve it when you solve it the lcm would be 20 means 1 and minus 2 equals 1 upon f so this is f comes out to be minus of 20 centimeters yes f comes out to be minus of 20 centimeters F is negative for a mirror. Which mirror is it? Concave or convex? For a convex mirror, we have a positive V. For a concave mirror, we have a negative F. Right? For a, for a, for a convex mirror, let me just rephrase it because I think I said V. For a convex mirror, the focal length is to the right, it is positive. For a concave mirror, focal length is negative because it is to the left. So, it is going to be a concave mirror. And if you understood this, we have solved Rashmi's problem. Let's see what Shruti is saying. So, always remember that substitute the signs along with values and not before. Whenever you are putting values in the formula, always make sure that you are putting them with signs. Otherwise, you might make a mistake. Fine. So, let's see. Shruti is saying for a pencil kept 10 cm away, means u is minus 10. All right. It gives an upside down image. What is an upside down image? Every word is giving you a clue. Upside down image is what? It is an inverted image. So upside down means inverted image. All right. On a piece of paper, which image you obtain on a screen? A piece of paper is here acting as a what? It's, a, it's acting as a screen. So it's an inverted image you are getting on a screen. It's a real image, right? It's a real image. Okay. Real image. 15 centimeter behind the instrument think a real image which is you are finding behind the instrument and you are able to obtain on a screen so it must be a lens no right it must be a lens a lens correct you can get image from a lens on a paper like it's a real image fine so that's why v is 15 centimeters behind the instrument means v is plus 15 fine so you will apply the lens formula 1 upon v minus 1 upon u equals 1 upon f and you put the values v is plus 15 u is minus 10 and when you obtain the f you get f as plus 6 now for which lens is the focal length positive is it a concave lens or a concave lens although you knew the answer 
you always knew the answer. Concave lens was actually not possible because concave lens gives you a virtual image. You cannot obtain the image on a screen. It was a convex lens. You knew it all along, but now you have proof because you have found the focal length and it is positive. Means it's a convex lens, right? So the positive sign indicates that it is a convex lens. So what have we concluded? That Rashmi's instrument is a concave mirror with focal length of minus 20 centimeters. Shruti's instrument is a convex lens with a focal length of plus six centimeters, right? So that's why mirror, it is plus, Lens formula, it is minus, and whenever you put the values, always use proper signs before you put them, right? Otherwise, we might make mistakes. So, this is how you have helped Rashmi and Shruti, and this is how we have helped ourselves to learn or deepen our understanding in this mirror versus lens formula topic, right? Don't worry, you got this. So, we'll meet again. Till then, take care. Bye bye.